company uh, analyses. So if you had several independent variables in a multiple regression and you want to know whether there, there was um, uh, univariate, uh, multivariate normality, you could uh, examine it this case, but I only have, have one in this case. Okay, so here are my p-values for these Mahalanobis distance values. And we can see that the p is extremely, extremely small. So by conventional statistical criteria, criterion of p equal 0 0.05 or less to de demarcate a statistical significant event, uh, we would say this is very, very statistically significant. We'd also say that on day 5 preceding, July 7th, July 6th, there looks to be some uh, suspicious... Uh, abnormal trading volume. If you keep going down though, you can see that none of the other ones are statistically significant. Uh, this one might be on May, on May 2. But, uh, so instead of going through all these right now, I want what we do know is that there's a lot of tests being made here and people when they do a lot of statistical analyses on the same sample that you might uh, make a type 1 error which is to reject the null hypothesis when it is in fact true. So to correct for that people do a Bonferroni correction. So instead of using a p-value of 0 0.05 if you had 10 uh, statistical tests on that same sample, you would divide your critical value of p.05 by 10, and then you would test your uh, hypotheses based on that adjusted p-value, which is called bon Bonferroni adjusted. Now I'm going to do a Bonferroni adjustment here as well. I've done 75 different statistical tests, you could argue, on this one sample. Uh, and uh, what I want to do is adjust these p-values accordingly. Now instead of uh, adjusting my criterion of p equal 0 0.05, I'm going to mul which I would divide by 75, I'm actually going to multiply my p-values by 75 so that we can actually take a look at each one of them. Uh, so it's the basic, it's a, it's a, a reverse engineered Bonferroni correction, if you will, a reverse uh, Bonferroni correction which has the same um, interpretation and consequence. So p-value adjusted. So I'm just going to multiply these p-values by 75 to see if any of them remain statistically significant. And so here are my adjusted values. And I'm going to actually adjust this so that we can actually see the values themselves. Now you can go up to 16 decimal places in SPSS. I don't know if I print. Yes, okay. So let me see if I can fit this into, let me get rid of my filter. And I can push this. Okay. So what we've got is, this is the adjusted value. I've Bonferroni corrected this. It's still massively statistically significant. So this t volume of 200,000 trades in shares on IPX is P less than point zero 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 seven. Um I think I got that right. Uh, so seven decimal places. Uh, so very, very statistically significant. And I would even add, like I would even consider it statistically significant in the context of the fact that my distribution of data here are not normal. In fact, I should have showed that to begin with. Uh, let me look at the. Let's look at the actual distribution of volume. I should have done this to start. Um, so here's a, a histogram of the trades, the trade volume across the last 75 days on IPX. And we can see that it is extremely non-normally non distributed. So it's got a, a lot of days zero. There's simply no uh, trades. Uh, oh, and I, my filter's off, sorry. Let me actually add my filter again. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, so these are for the last 75 days. And we can see that, you know, about 60 days out of 75, or 63 days out of 75, um, there's no trade on this stock. It's a, mi it's a micro, micro stock. It's, that's fairly typical. And then we've got some days where there are trades. And then there's these big whopping 150,000 volume and 200,000 volume. And of course, the question that I'm addressing here is, well, are these observations statistically significant? I think another way to look at this is uh, through the Explore utility, just looking at volume. And uh, we can go at the 
and look at the plots, which doesn't add a lot to 